a violence-plagued, hotly contested election, a mysterious insurgency, and two deadly cyclones plagued Mozambique this year. But a historic ceasefire deal between the government and opposition and a visit from the Pope also spread messages of peace and healing. 2019 has been a whirlwind year for the Southern African nation, and analysts say the plot will only thicken in 2020. And of course, all of this takes place against the backdrop of this expected massive incoming windfall, which will come in the form of, of revenues through the liquid and na natural gas uh, deposits up in northern Mozambique. So, you know, this is a contestation not just for political power in Mozambique. This is also a contestation for the control over what could be a vast uh, res reserve of wealth for the country in the next 20 years. Uh, so really the stakes are, are only going to get higher from here as well. Mozambique's opposition claim massive fraud in the October re-election of President Felipe Nyusi, which authorities deny. But the shadowy Islamist insurgency brewing in the rural north is also a main concern, says the democratic movement of Mozambique's Lutero Simango. We are facing so many problems. Uh, we are facing the problem of uh, militarization that is taking place in the north of Mozambique. I'm saying the Cabo Delgado province. And at this moment that uh, we are speaking here, we are having uh, militarization in the center of the, or the central country in Mozambique, in the region of Sofai Manika. Observers worry that the contested election may drive Mozambicans further apart. But the ruling Mozambique Liberation Front, for Limo, won 73% of the votes this time, compared to under 52% in the last polls. Masterson says that shows Perlimo still has a great deal of support, though there are concerns about the numbers. I think that the, the, the problems really started once we saw the aggregated numbers of the registration there, which really set the platform for a, an election where distrust was high, concerns about the procedural sort of uh, and the technical aspects of the elections were elevated. Opposition politician Simango, who claims the poll was not free and fair, puts it a bit differently. When the people's will is not respected, when the people's will is not valued, when the people's will is not taken into consideration, you are creating a situation of uh, an uh, illegitimate government. Frilimo has held power since 1975, but was also one of the key brokers in the August peace deal that brought an end to decades of conflict. And that's a message that even the Pope touted when he visited the nation in September as part of a three-nation Africa tour. Peace, reconciliation, and hope. Three things that Mozambique badly needs to get through this trying time. Anita Palvio News, Johannesburg.